G'day, that's safety guy here. I hope you're all warm and safe today. Down here in Toronto, it's about minus 30 with the wind chill, so there's not a lot of outside action going on. However, the inside, guys, in what world, in what way, is that a good idea? All right, so, gentlemen, folks, workers, if you're gonna be messing around with electricity, okay, A, make sure you're an electrician to begin with. If you're using a job-built, extension cord like that last one face plate make sure that the punch holes are all closed up you know make sure it's water resistant okay that one there that's no good there's too many ways that you could possibly get a shock from it okay um 110 volts could kill you if you get a weak heart what is it 0.5 milliamps can stop your heart uh the workers that were in there right now with that particular one we're actually working around water. And we know how well water and electricity mix. So, um, you know, it's probably better off to go and purchase an extension cord than it is to try to make one, okay? Uh, the, the, the workers that were actually using that one there were not electricians. They were actually uh, uh, sprinkler guys, uh, uh, fire prevention installers. So definitely not electricians. And why would you take that chance, okay? Why would you make your own extension cord uh, when at the end of the day, you know what, it's, it's probably better and perhaps more cost effective to buy from a reputable dealer? Because you can get two gang, three gang, you can get a single gang plug, okay uh you can get a heavier duty cord especially for construction uh you can get a heavy duty exterior cord which is always a good idea even if you're working um on a high rise in the middle of the city uh you're in your part and you're in the parking structure below it's still a good idea to have that that exterior grade extension cord because the casing is thicker the wire is hardier okay uh and it's made to be weather resistant if not weatherproof so if you're not an electrician, do not make your own extension cords. Even if you're an electrician, I highly recommend you just purchase one. It's probably better off. The only people that can maintain uh, that extension cord is a licensed electrician. Okay? So if you have to re replace the male or female ends, okay, you should be, you have to be um, an electrician, at least in Ontario. And I would imagine that on any construction site anywhere in North America, uh, that would be the standard, okay? So, you know, go buy one. It's a lot cheaper at the end of the day, a lot more cost effective, okay? Then you don't get, you don't get stop works. <laughs> you don't get stop work. Plus again, that one there, that particular one, they were working in probably, you know, top of your tread of your boot in water with all that open electricity. So, all right, get the face covers on, get the, get the plugs, get the, get the punch holes filled or just buy the proper gear.